It is for many the safe seat for the National Democratic Congress in the Ashanti region. The NDC has made Asawasi its own, and since its creation in 2004, the constituency has remained loyal to the party. Its current representative in parliament, Mohammed Muntaka Mubarak, has for 18 years had little to worry about in terms of internal strife. In both 2015 and 2019, he went unopposed. But that has changed in the last few months because a young entrepreneur, Masaud Mubarak, is fiercely contesting him. This is the man whose attempt to contest the MP in 2019 was thwarted by some element in leadership. But not this time. The former branch youth organizer believes he has a great shot at toppling the five-time parliamentary candidate, Mohammed Muntaka Mubarak. The state of the party in the constituency is in shambles. There's, there's lost of hope in the future for the many young people in the constituency. There's no sense of direction. Um, we are bereft of um, opportunities to develop the people within the constituency. And so basically these are the reasons why I have decided to contest the certain member of parliament for Asawasi. I largely believe that um, it is God who determines all these things and I wouldn't be able to speak into the future. But I am very optimistic that I am winning this race. You know, standing on his way is the former minority chief whip who himself is not taking any chances. They, they say uh, what do you call, elections are never over and it's over. But I can assure you that we are working very hard to make sure that we, I mean, this is just a minor challenge about primaries. The main is the 2024 election. We must retain as one say, in a very decisive way. Masawudu's decision to contest his familiar foe appears to have left the constituency executives sharply divided. There are those who have thrown their support behind Muntaka Mubarak. And then there are others like the Aswasi NDC constituency chairman who is leading the Masawudu campaign and calling for change. With youth unemployment being a major issue in the constituency, some constituents are of the view the time to have people with fresh ideas to address their problem is now. I won't stand here and discredit the efforts made by the, I mean, the incumbent. He's done his bit. But as time moves on, things change. We need somebody who understands the youth system and can fit in to be able to match the youth with opportunities to reduce the incidence of crime wave in the country. And that's why we are calling for change. And then there are those like Osman who basically want the incumbent retained. When it comes to empowerment, Muntaka is the best because he has, he has helped a lot. Even according to my calculation, within this year, those he, who he has helped to acquire their education at the tertiary, he helped almost 110 students to the tertiary. So why not? Why do, why do we have to change him? The two contestants say they would unite the party after the May 13 primaries to prepare for the main election in 2024 one family and at the end of the day we need everyone on board to fight the bigger battle which is the battle with the MPP. We have a lot of work to do. It is not just about primaries. We have 2024 election to win and all of us must be thinking about that. The former minority chief whip has already lost his leadership role in parliament. As to whether this would affect his chances to represent the people of Asawasi for the sixth time remains for the delegates to decide. They would speak on May 13 and loudly too. Here at Media General, we will bring you up to minute update of the Asawasi NDC primaries. Ibrahim Abubakar, Kumasi.